Well, welcome back. We're hanging out with our friends from Wildlife World Zoo this morning. Mm -hmm. Lauren is here. Uh, laughing with a kookaburra. Good morning to you. And you know, a lot of people might be familiar with the kids' song, uh, hanging out in an old gum tree, right? But yeah. No, that's that's not what he's doing this morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. I have Taco, the laughing kookaburra, with us here today. And these guys are from Australia. They're actually a member of the kingfisher family. And you can easily recognize a kingfisher by their short, stocky bodies and their large beaks. Ironically, Taco is one of the only members of that family that doesn't actively fish. So this guy will actually catch things like lizards, insects, mice, things over dry land. Uh -huh. We were talking about his beak because it looks kind of mean, but you say it's it's not to really go after like serious prey. Yeah, it's not like your typical bird of prey that will have the hooked beak meant for catching lots of meat and stuff. Yeah. This guy's more so going to hang on to things and he's gonna actually stun his prey as well. His eyes are located directly behind his beak, so if he catches something like a mouse that could potentially have sharp claws, uh -huh. what they'll do is grab it up and slam it really hard onto whatever they're perched on, oh. or they'll fly up way up in the sky and drop it on down. Very so that will help get a stunned and tenderized meal, and these guys actually will swallow things whole as well. Oh, wow. One one of the things about the kookaburra is the sound that it makes. Yes, absolutely. So they have a very distinctive territorial call. If you haven't seen one of these birds before, you've probably heard them. It's a very <laughs> popular soundtrack in movies, especially in jungle scenes. So we actually have this call on cue. It's uh -huh. actually to roll your R's. So if you guys would like to help me out, we're going to roll our R's and see if Taco would like to okay. laugh for us Ready? today. Ready, Taco? <laughs> Yes, we did. Everybody's so. like, what's going on in the newsroom right now? And that's why they call them the Laughing Kookaburra. I love it. And you find them in Australia. Yes, absolutely. In the dry forested areas in Australia as well. But they're not an aggressive bird. They actually completely control their territories with that call too. In uh, fact, in a clutch of eggs, the very first egg will be a male. On that, we will say goodbye to Taco and tell you guys goodbye with one more... <laughs> <laughs>